What's up everybody? If you ever wanted to learn how to easily and quickly create multiple dynamically created sheets in Google Sheet, this video is right for you. So without any further ado, let's get right to it. Hey guys, welcome to Code with Mark where I share helpful videos to help you become a professional web developer a lot faster. If you are interested in learning how to become a professional web developer a lot faster and learn technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, MongoDB, MySQL, and others that are going to help you create amazing, awesome web development app, do consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, so now we have this uh, Google Sheet project that I created. It has one sheet. Actually, let me just go in here and delete all these out and start from fresh. So I'll just refresh it and I will show you. So there's only one sheet called template. And if I put over here, there's no other sheets available and in short, what this is going to do is there are sheet names in here, the first column, and then we have HTML, jQuery, and PHP. So in this case, it's going to create three different sheets. For every sheet, it's going to insert these rows. So for HTML, there are going to be two rows. For your jQuery, it's going to be one. For PHP, it's going to be three. So let me show you quickly how it will work. I'm going to click on create sheets button. It's going to go run. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It takes a couple of seconds for it to go and process the whole thing. And here we go. If you get this prompt, that just means that it's a good thing that it came up. That just means you have to authorize the sheet before it can run the Google app script. So all you have to do is click on continue and this prompt will come up, pick up whatever email address you want. And then I don't know why they still have this. See, click on advance and then scroll down and click on go to whatever your sheet name is and then allow. And this will authorize you, the owner, to run the sheet, which makes absolutely no sense. But that's just how Google works. Moving on. So let's do this again. I'm going to push this button and now it's going to go and run the sheet script behind scenes. And now we have three different sheets. So for HTML, we are expecting to see two rows. So let's open up the HTML sheet. So there are two rows. There was jQuery one and PHP. There are three. And just to make sure that this thing will work just to prove it to you. It is completely dynamic. You can literally go down the row as many row as you like. So what I'll do is I'll just go here and call this MySQL and call this code with mark. Why not, right? <laughs> All right, so moving right along. So let's click on this and there are no sheets at the bottom, so click. And I promise you, I will show you all the code so that way you can implement this in your Google Sheet project. So now we have obviously the three sheets and the four sheet, so it's completely dynamic. All right, I just wanna give you a quick reminder that I have this special gift that's gonna help you, that you can get it at this URL. Don't forget to get it. And don't worry, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you to make it easier. All right, now back to your video. So in, in order for you to look at the code, you go over here at the time of the recording, it's under extension. Maybe if you look at it later on, it might be somewhere else. So just look around. So click on extensions, click on app scripts. And obviously it's gonna throw an error message, I don't know why. So let me refresh it and then we'll go back. App scripts and this time around watch it will work. And I'm glad it happened because sometimes when you're building things, this kind of things will come across. And why is it doing this? <laughs> 
All right, I'm gonna not say anything and try to figure this out and come back, come back later. All right, I'm not really sure why I gave an error message. All I really did was went back to my original folder and then reopened the file and it started working. <laughs> Weird. But in case if that ever happens to you, you would know how to troubleshoot this, right? So reopen it and it will work. So let's go try again. Here, here, and this time around, it's gonna come. So there are three files that you would need to create. And don't worry, I will leave the link in the description for you to copy the code onto these particular files. So the first one, which is this, and in order for you to create these files, all you do is click on the plus, and then you want to click on that script, and then you could name this to be whatever you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, doesn't really matter. And I'm just gonna delete this for now. And let's go through here. I like to be a little more organized. So if you have watched any of my videos, you know I'm very organized, keep things every systematic way. So there's one, two, and three. So in the first one is just connecting the Google Sheet. If you never used Google Sheets before, this is the one line of code that will allow you to connect to this sheet and manipulate it to anything you want it to do. And this is gonna just create the sheet ID. So what that sheet ID means is this, this long string of code between D and edit. It will just grab it automatically. And then whatever sheet that you would like to connect to, just like your MySQL table, you have different tables within the database. So in this case, your whole work book, and it has different tables right here, lack of a better word. And then this is what you're gonna put in and it will all make sense to you, I promise. And then this particular function, you could take a look at it later on if you like to, but if you don't care, just use it and it will work. Basically what that does is it goes to your row one and check to see wherever the last row number that has any kind of data, that is that. And then we have this awesome looking I library right now it probably looks like gibberish and blah 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 but the library is called ala sql amazing library i use it for most of my project highly encourage you to uh use it you will love it and then the meat and potato will happen in this particular uh file and this is the one that says create sheets with data so very first thing what i'm doing is i'm just giving a name assigning it to a variable called template so anything that is in template i want to copy over and then create sheets out of it so this becomes literally literally lack of a better word a template for me and then i'm saying get me the first row from the template sheet in this case it will be just get the first row so since I assigned the variable and this will initiate it to be the template being the variable that I will be using throughout the rest of this code going downwards. So this will, this line of code is just going to get me the all of the row ones columns from A to D. So in this case it will be A through D. If you want to increase it, if you have more columns, Obviously change this letter A and D to something else that fits your project. And then sheet data will be all of the rows underneath it. It doesn't really matter what it is. So what I did was I started say, get me all the rows starting from A2 to D. And then this is the function. Remember what I said, it will get, just get you the last row populated if you do nothing else, just leave this alone. All that's going to do is going to look in the template from A1 to whatever the last row it has data on it. And that's that. So this line of code is going to get you all of this. Then moving right along. Now, once we have all of these rows, we're just going to loop through it and say, hey, this and this, they are the same. So we're going to treat this as one sheet this one is only by itself sheet by itself so on and so forth hope you get the picture 
So that is exactly what I'm doing, just looping through it. And then I'm just putting it sheet name, putting it into array. If you ever use JavaScript, you know how simple it is. Just putting it into the array. And once the array is created, then I am putting this AL, ASQL. And then this might look familiar to you. This is literally a SQL statement. And you can use that in this JavaScript library. It is extremely powerful. I promise you, once you start using it, you're like, holy cow. I do have a, a video about this on my channel. Go check it out. So all this is going to do is going to take that array of data and then group it by sheet name. So in this case, this will become one. This will also become one, so on and so forth. And then I'm going to loop through this group by and every single time it finds a sheet name. So in this case, if it is HTML, it's going to go create a sheet and copy the rows and put in here. And that's where it happens. And it also checks to see if the sheet name, in this case, HTML already exists. This is the check right here then delete that particular sheet name and then insert it again in case there is a new data available right all right so it gets inserted here with the row and then we are getting all the rows from the sheet that has a name so in this case all of this rows and then we're going to add it to the sheet which in this case will be the html so that's exactly what is happening here. So this is actually where it will append the rows that it got. So in the case of HTML, these two rows will be added. In the case of jQuery, this will be added. In the case of PHP, this will be added. MySQL, this will be added, so on and so forth. You get the picture. And then it's just gonna go back to the uh template make that sheet an active one because if it doesn't whatever the last sheet it is it's going to stay at that sheet meaning this will be the active sheet if your last sheet name is this then this will be here but i wanted to say hey go back to the template and, and call it a day and that is that and i was playing around with it with the message thing you could play with it too as well where i enabled it so it showed me a message saying that, hey, successfully created your sheets. And then this message is right here. And just to show you, I'll click on it again. It will run the script. Great, 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 great. Here's the message. Click on it. Then it will take me back to the template. Make that the active sheet. All right, so that is that. Last but not least, how did I create this particular button okay i think i clicked it by accident let me go back again and i'll show you so in order for you to create this all you really have to do is go to insert draw and then we can draw right here a text box i'll just call this i don't know create just for now and obviously you can Fill this with any color and make it anything you want. I'll just change it to like a red or something. And the coloring will be white. Come on, make it white. There we go. And save, close, and this one comes here. All right, I just want to give you a quick reminder that I have this special gift that's gonna help you, that you can get it at this URL. Don't forget to get it. And don't worry, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you to make it easier. All right, now back to your video. And if I wanna assign any kind of a function, like any of these functions here, in this case, it would be this. I'll just simply copy this, go back here, right click, then these three little dots will come up and then I can click on them and then assign script and put in the function name, click okay. 
And now if I click on this, it will also run the script just like that. So it's a very, very handy tool in case if you are creating a dashboard for other users who you don't want to mess around with it. So you just create this little button that will go and do the things for them. So let's click on it one more time. And it's running, it's running, it's running, and it is done. That is awesome. So that is that. Quick little video will help you out with your Google Sheet development uh, projects. If you found this video, make sure you click the like, thumb button, and all that good jazz. Comment below if you have any questions. And also don't forget to check out the course that I have available for you if you are interested in learning how to get clients by creating websites for them. If you're interested in that, go check that out. I have literally taught this course to a lot of people and all of them loved it. So if you're interested, the link will be in the below. Go check it out.